Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, I will show you guys how you can make a Berkeley logo design. All right. So right now, what I will do is to import all the images and PNGs I will be using for my design. So I will head straight to import, and then I will import them. So the links to these files will be on the description. All right. So I'm just going to head to import and import all the um, materials I'll be using for this design, like the color palettes, which is this. I will so. I will import the color palette and and then I will head to import. All right, if I do that, let me change the color of the background to a more um, a better background. So I'll be changing this. All right. So right now I will import all the PNG files. Right. So I'll import and then I go to my file storage. And then I'll import uh, the PNG files I'll be using. Okay, I'll be importing this one. All right, I'll make it of this. And then, okay, let me keep this one side. All right, so I'll import another, which is um, this one. And then I'll hide and then I'll import another one. Okay. And uh, all right, is all. Okay. What I'll do now is to enable this and then how to reduce this. Okay. All right, so I have to reduce this color. So I will um, change this color to, I'll make this black. All right, so again, let me raise this very well. So I think this is better now. Okay, let me increase this so we can see enough space to place our designs all right and then i'll have to lock this layer so i have to lock this layer okay the next thing i will do now is to import this okay we so import this shape and then i'll use the shape to create a space here all right so this is looking good Okay, so the next thing is to place the cap. Okay, place the cap. So move this, just hold and move it upward. Okay, so this is great. I just need to fit it in inside here. All right, so this is looking good. Fit it in here, all right. Okay, let me increase and move it up a bit. All right. So the next thing is to import the cake. You can actually use any other thing, the spoon, all right. I can move this to the front, you can use a spoon, you can use anything, and then you put it the cake. Okay, let me create this a bit. And then the next thing is to type in the bakery or uh, a bakery name. So this that will be for this page. So I'll just use bakery. Yeah, bakery. So guys, if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing, liking, and also sharing. It is free to do that. It's free to subscribe. And then I'll place this here. I'll just place this here. And then the next thing is to change this font to a better font. So I'll head to A, B, and then I will choose this font. All right. So just make use of this font. Magnificent font. And then I'll increase this. Make it bold. All right, so I'll check the paddling to bring all this out. Okay. So guys, this is looking good. It's looking good. All right. So the next thing I will do is to match um, the frame and the square together so I can erase the color. So I'll click on the square and the frame. So uh, this is the frame. And then I'll merge it together and erase the color. Okay. As you can see, I've created a space. So from here, I can go back 
and then lock the frame as well all right so now i just need to type in my slogan which will be tasty and yummy tasty and yummy Okay, I'll capitalize all these. I'll just capitalize them. And then I'll bring it downward. So I just need to head to fonts and choose a font that is bold. All right, so I'll make it of this month heavy. And then I'll reduce it to fit in. I'll reduce it to fit in the space. Okay, I can increase to see my design wall here. I can increase this. All right. So I just need to place this here and then my space, you know, space it so the text can be clear enough because I want to make this tiny. So space and then I'll go I'll head to the curve. Alright, the curve um two. So I'll curve this way until I get the perfect fitting for the alright. So this is cool, right? I'll just need to reduce this okay so the next thing i will do now is to change the colors of my design so i'll click on each of the layers and head to color and change their color so i'll just pick a color by clicking the plus and this and then i'll select that color code and i'll pick a color so i'm using this color so i'll just check and check and i have my color the next is the bakery color so i'll head to the same um, properties which is the color and then same procedure and i'll pick a color code and then i'll choose a color which is this all right so the next is for this one then color and i'll choose the lighter um parts which is this one okay it is looking good it's looking great so for this make sure these are the center all right center this way okay so let me place all at the center alignment is very necessary place this at the center as well then the bakery at the center okay then this one at the center all right so this as well at the center so now i just need to change the color of this one so I'll head to color and then I will choose a color code. And then I'll go with this one. Alright, so this one. The darker part. Alright, from here I can then hide my color code so I don't need it again. I can hide this and then I'll save everything as a PNG file. To save as a PNG transparent file, I just need to click on this transparent and then I'll save. Alright. So the next thing here is to go to your browser and I will show you how you can mark this up to be in 3D. Alright guys, so this is my browser and we are here. This is photopea.com. So just go to any of your browser and type photopea.com and this interface will pop up. So once you are at this interface, you have to file to import a PLZ file mockup that we'll be using for this tutorial. So he open um click on open and then your files to import the PLZ mockup and then you choose the folder. Okay, I think mine is on my download folder, so I'm just going to head straight to my download folder and I will, um, all right, so this is it. I'm just going to click on this one and not this. This is the JPEG format, but this is the P, um, this PSD format, which is the edit, um, editable format of the file. So if you upload the other file to the JPEG, you won't be able to edit. So most of my subscribers and my students usually come to me and say, um, the, the stuff is not working, the PNG file, sorry, the PSD file is not working. And I will tell them, make sure you upload the PSD format and not the JPEG format, all right? So guys, once you're here, the next thing you do is to click here, which is the layer. So you double click or just click, just click. 
and then you will see this place which will say place holder just double click on this tiny square so double click and then another stuff will open which is this layer so you hide this and then import your design so you head to file and then open and place this time so you click on files to import your already made designs so from here pixel lab and then this which is a transparent file So once this load, you can decide to reduce. Alright, so after this, you head to files and then save smart objects. And then wait while it saves your file as a smart object. Okay, alright now, so our smart objects have been updated. So what I'll do now is to click on this logo mockup here. So as you can see, our file has been updated. Our file has been updated. So what you do next is to head to files and then click on export and then choose PNG to save your file. So as you can see, you just click on this save button and then you save. So, so guys, thank you for watching and see you all in my next tutorial.